Before we put the design on this basswood egg, or really any basswood product that you're going to chip carve, it's important to properly prepare the surface. When you look closely at your, your basswood egg, you'll see some very fine lines that are left after manufacturing these eggs. We need to remove all those lines so it's perfectly smooth so that when we put a clear finish or a stain of some type on this project, we won't see any of those lines. You can do this just by hand and hand sand your egg until it's perfectly smooth. Or if you have access to a drill press or a hand drill, I'll show you how to quickly and easily sand your egg in that fashion. Here's what you'll need. Get a wood screw. This one's an inch and a half long. And either cut off the head or grind it down. Then we can take this screw and I'll show you first we could mount it into a hand drill just like that. And we could use that to spin it. Or for this demonstration I'm going to show you how to do that using this drill press chuck. Take that screw, wood screw, that you just cut the head off of and mount it into your drill press. Next, I like to use a fender washer. Slide that over the screw and take your wooden egg. On the bottom you'll see the center point. Take a scratch awl or some sharp object and make that a little bit bigger so that you're able to screw your egg onto that screw chuck. With the egg fastened into the screw chuck, we're all set to stand it. Check closely and you'll see that very few of those lines remain. I noticed a couple up here so I'd spend just a little more time sanding this. I began with about 100 grit paper and finished with 220 grit paper. So it's nice and smooth and now we're ready to lay out our design on our basswood egg. With our basswood egg sanded perfectly smooth, it's time to draw the design on it. For this project I'd like to go from this to this. Now to draw a design around a round object isn't that hard if you know a few tricks. We're going to use a simple handmade device out of a simple box to draw the design around the, our basswood goose egg. Here's how to do it. Find a box that's a little bit bigger than your object you're going to lay the design out on and cut out an opening a little bit bigger than the size of your object. Then I have some, these are hat pins I believe. Take one pin and push it into the top of your egg. Take another pin and push it into the bottom of your egg. And then I like these hat pins because they push nicely into the cardboard. Just push it down in on both ends. And now we have a little rotisserie that we can draw our pattern on around our goose egg. I've marked on the box about the center point of this egg. I'm going to start by drawing a line around the circumference at the midpoint. To do that, I'm just going to hold my pencil here at downward at a little bit of an angle so it makes it a little bit easier to draw that line around the center of the egg.
Okay, so there's our middle line to start with. Now for this pattern, I need to decide how to evenly space this repeating pattern around the egg. To do that, there's a real simple way to do it. You could do it with a flexible ruler and bend this around your, your egg in this fashion. Take those measurements and do the math and divide it up. Or there's even an easier way. Cut a strip of paper and wrap it around the center of your egg. Then with your pencil mark where the end is. and we'll cut that off. Now to divide this egg into, we'll begin with dividing it into four sections. Take your strip of paper, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. Now at each of those fold lines, we'll be dividing this egg into four equal segments. Take your pencil and mark the starting point, and then just rotate the egg, and wherever you see a crease, make a mark. There's a crease that I can see, and I'll mark with a pencil so you can see a little bit easier. And there's another crease, and a fourth one. Now my egg is divided into four segments. Now to divide it into 16 segments, I'll divide each of the fourths into four more parts. To do that, use that same strip of paper. We'll cut it right there and take this piece and fold it first in half and then into half again. And that will allow us to divide this egg into 16 equal parts. Again, I'll take my pencil and mark these so you can see where they are. So there's one, two, three marks, four equal segments. And I can do that around the entire object. Put your egg back in the holder and let's draw these lines from here. But before we do that, let's make them as long as we desire for this to be. On this pattern, from end to end is 44 millimeters. So that means 22 millimeters per side. 22 there, 